Hey, Jimmy's. Um, this conversation kind of ties in together. I am hoping that I myself can get a broom. If I can't find a nice looking broom, I'm hoping maybe to make one. But I'm kind of, I have a feeling that the supplies that I will need, I won't be able to find. So what I was thinking is I might wait to Christmas, not Christmas, sorry. I might wait till Halloween and maybe look like Halloween decorations. Because in my town, when it comes to Halloween, they actually have really nice wicken brooms. And they're made of real stuff. They're really expensive though. But they sell them as children's toys or costume, costumes. <clears throat> so I might buy a broom around Halloween. And when I buy them, I might also go to the wicken store and buy a pentagram and kind of make it my own. They don't sell brooms at the wicken store I go to because they feel that <coughs> brooms should be made. But I really don't have the time to be, make a broom and I don't really have the money to buy the supplies. I'm leaving soon. I need to tell you guys. I'm leaving on the 28th of August, which is this month. And I won't come back till late in September. And then when I come back, I'm in Ottawa, my hometown, for two weeks. And then I'm going to go to Niagara with my fiance. So I don't really got time. Um, so, with the whole broom stuff, brooms are usually, should be used, um, for cleaning a circle, or when you're having a ritual, you know, let's clean out the old and bring in the good positive. So, as soon as I wanted to get a broom, I decided to start cleaning up my room now. As you can see behind me, on this side, I got a mood my my bookshelves over there for the time being. I'm not I not even close to done my room. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna make a video and I set up a little spot in my room at the end of my bed. Wait when you come in my room the little bit right there. There's a little spot that I set uh most of my looking stuff. So I will show you that. Also I'm thinking of getting a few rooms in my room. I want to put one above my bedroom door and I also want to put one above my window and I want to have one for rituals and stuff like that. But I'm worried that with so many rooms it might uh, uh, how do I explain it? I don't think too many, so many rooms might be a good idea because I'm worried that I might use all of them, and I really don't want to have use all of them because then that kind of won't be the best. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make one, and I haven't decided if I want to put it above my bed, like where my window is, or if I want it like above my door. So I'm kind of thinking about that. Uh, what else? Might be? There's a lot of stuff on my mind. I was babysitting this morning to all well, three boys. I don't really was watching over two because the other one, the third one was the oldest. So they didn't, he didn't really need looking after. So my mind's all blech, mush today because I'm just exhausted. Yesterday I was cleaning from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. Now that's a lot, like, and I'm not even close to done. I went through boxes and I have special boxes under my bed. I went through those. I cleaned out four garbage bags and I still got two in my room that are halfway full. <clears throat> so that would be uh, six bags so far. I'm not even done yet. I've got in my closet. Let's go. My closet is a wreck. Because I got a dresser in my closet. <clears throat> One side of my closet has hanging clothes, and then under the hanging clothes, I got big cover containers of clothes, like my winter clothes. And the thing is, I technically don't grow. So, you know, I got lots of clothes. 
The only thing I grew out of would probably be shirts because my chest. Other than that, not really. So whatever I don't want anymore, I either give to my sister who I don't live with, my little sister, or I would give it to Goodwill. And sometimes I might actually just recycle my clothes. Like I might like use some of it to make pouches with, or you know, like special baggies to make some smelly stuff and oils. You know, I just I use a lot of different things, and I like doing that. Like this shirt I'm wearing right now, I had for years, and it still fits me, and it still looks new. So, also, I got 42 hits on one of my videos, and that's like the biggest hit I ever got. Like 42, it's a big number. So, you know, I'm trying to hoping that I will get more hits than just 42 on the video. The video that I got a lot of hits on was the video that I was ranting on, which. It kind of upset me that that video got the most hits because that was a day where I was really upset and kind of it worries me that people find me being upset more amusing than anything else. So, but you know, eventually that worked. Uh, my second biggest hit is my Win Win Day video, which was 30 hit, 30 views, and that's like all I got for like big hits. So. I'm hoping that soon I would get better better people watching my video. I'm also running low on ideas. Like I don't wanna keep sitting here and talking about my day and what I did and what I wanna do. You know, I also I wanna answer questions and I wanna help others. I really do. Like I'm not just sitting here by trying to get some what is that, YouTube thing or whatever people wanna call it. I just wanna get my voice across and me getting my voice across, or anybody actually getting my voice across, it means that the people who are watching need to put in their effort too. Because without me, they can't be you, basically. So the viewers, you know, give me ideas, ask me questions. I'm like, I love it. I love people asking me questions. It shows that people listen and are very interesting into what I have to say. Mm. So I, I know that I keep yawning in my videos, I just, I've been so busy and, I, and my body is really tired. And when I walk in my room, it's just, uh, for me, it's one, of, it's one of those relaxing things. Like when you, when I hit my, like when I get in my house, I'm like, oh, I'm home. But once I get in my room, it's like, you know, I'm in my, my solitary spot. This is my room. I'm very, actually, my mom's telling me, oh, my room looks clean. But to me, I don't think it's clean. Like, I woke up and I was just really angry at myself and my room because it was so messy. And I was like, you know, I gotta clean my room up. I gotta mess it, pretty clean it. So I cleaned it. And I thought it was really a funny timing because, you know, I'm also talking about getting a room. And I'm also still trying to make a coven. <sighs> I got some of my friends that I want to join in to come, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried that they might not bring good to the coven, so, you know, and I gotta, I gotta be judgmental, very judgmental, and not do good judging and not bad judging, so it's really difficult to pick and choose people, because I think all my friends are very good Wiccans, I'm just, I want, I gotta figure out what's up they're teaching would be best for the coven and others because I don't want that. I want my coven to be an environment where people come and they feel like they're at home. I don't want negativity or anything like that in my coven, so it's going to be really, it's going to be difficult for me. I mean, this is all I'm going to say for this video. I can't make it any longer than 10 minutes and it's getting close. So, blessed be, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.